What's up, y'all? My name is Miles with Holiday World in Dallas, Texas. But we are actually in Houston today for the Houston RV Show. This is the biggest RV show in Texas happening this weekend, Wednesday through Saturday. That's February 9th through February 12th of 2022. And I am very delighted to get to make a video of this Grand Design Momentum 395 MS. Um, this is actually my first time seeing this particular Momentum floor plan in person, and I am amazed. So let's go look at it. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. If this is your first time tuning into one of my videos, I'm super excited that you're here. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And if you do get something out of this, consider hitting that like button down below and definitely the subscribe button and become a part of this growing community of RVers all around the world. If you want to connect with me on other social media platforms, links to those are down below in the description. And then we are at the Houston RV Show this week. That is February 9th through the 12th. I will be here all four days of the show. So you can contact me up at the number above if you plan on coming to the show or if you just want more information about this toy haul that we're looking at you can text me here as well so really excited to meet y'all that will be out of the show now let's get into the video this here is the 2022 grand design momentum 395 ms this thing has some of the best seating i have ever seen in a toy hauler and has a lot of amazing features with it it is 101 inch wide body construction so you're gonna have a ton of floor space in there as well it is definitely a big massive fifth wheel this thing is 45 feet 10 inches long so almost 46 feet long bumper to bumper love the aggressive front end on the front cap of the momentum as well looks really really attractive not gonna lie and over here let's look at everything here you're gonna have your unloaded vehicle weight or your dry weight rating of 16,242 pounds and then your gross vehicle weight rating of 20,000 pounds so this is a very heavy toy hauler and you're going to have 7,000 pound axles on here and it is a triple axle this wheel so we're going to take a look at everything that this momentum has to offer there's definitely a lot to unpack here so we're going to look at all of it and give you a real thorough walkthrough of this momentum i'm really excited so let's start with the front end here on the front cap really really nice looking front cap and one of the biggest things about grand design they really push their one their quality control and then two their customer support so all grand design products go through a pre-delivery inspection before they leave the factory that is definitely not the norm in the industry most rvs after they're finished being built they get shipped right out and then the dealership actually has to do a pdi or a pre-delivery inspection on it grand design does that at the factory so that is just going to be another added test there or you know test that it goes through to make sure you're getting a quality product once it hits the lot at a dealership so Real aggressive front end here. Um, I am also going to be honest in my critique with this fifth wheel as well, especially at the price point that it's at, because let's go look at the price real quick. Let's start there and then we'll kind of work our way around. But this thing has an MSRP price of 157,000. Um, the show price we're gonna have here at the Houston RV show is 127. And you can see here with some financing terms with 20% down at this interest rate for 240 months, you'd be at about 793 a month. So obviously those can all be switched around to fit whatever your exact situation is and what you're wanting. But at this price point, I mean, I dang near expect to see everything. And this here is going to be a sticker decal unit. It does not have full body paint, but it still looks incredibly beautiful on the outside. Very aggressive, hard angled graphics that look really cool. As we come up to the pin box here, this is something I was very surprised to see. This is just a very standard pin box. You don't have any sort of shock absorption there. So that is something I was really surprised to see on this Momentum product, because this isn't something that I deal with all the time. Um, we do sell them at our Houston stores with Holiday World. So this is something that I don't always see in Dallas, but very surprised to see this. If you look at like the Keystone Fusion, next to us here which is going to be less expensive but still a you know luxury toy hauler it has the road armor suspension or road armor pin box up there with a one inch thick rubber bushing that is going to absorb a lot of that contact that you don't have on this momentum so a little surprised to see that but that's okay we're not gonna completely rule it out because of something like that because you can always change this out too and this is a pretty easy fix so Coming under here, you're gonna have the 5,500 watt Cummins Onan generator that's going to be powering your whole RV underneath here. You are gonna have a solar panel on the roof, so you have the Jaboni solar charge controller that is going to be monitoring that and making sure that your battery stay charged off of that solar panel. Plus you have the 2,000 watt inverter up here as well for your residential refrigerator. And you know, not a whole lot of room for storage in here, but you do have some room for storage up in this front cap area or underneath this front cap area. We'll kind of work our way this way through the fifth wheel and then work our way around to the other side. So right here, 
hopefully everything's unlocked because I didn't actually check that before we started walking through this. But you're gonna have your 30 pound propane bottle right here. You are going to have six point hydraulic auto leveling on this toy hauler. So you'll have two stabilizers up here, two in front of the axles and two behind the axles to give you six points of stabilization with the auto leveling. And then you're going to have a small storage compartment right in here with your central vac setup and your battery disconnect. Right here, you have a spray port. Um, I'm assuming it's a spray port. Yeah, so you can hook up an outside hose there so you can spray things off on the front side of your RV. I do like that. And then you have outlets right here. As we walk around to the sides here, first of all, key, or, um, not Keystone, Grand Design is very adamant about making sure you know that they have fully laminated walls on their slide out boxes. So a real solid side wall on your slide out box there, definitely a nice thing to see. And then you're gonna have your marine grade speakers on the outside here. Plus this is going to be a spot for a TV. I know this door is locked, so can't get into that one. But what I wanna really look at here, check this out. You actually have three awnings on this toy hauler. So one up front, one on the slide out box and one behind here. That's incredible. I haven't seen that on anything else. I mean, even this momentum right here next to us doesn't have that. This here is the, which floor plan is this? This is the 381 MS. Um, if you want to see the price on that one, just so you can know, that's what it is here at the Houston RV show. This has three awnings on it. That's pretty incredible. Um, I do want to point out as well, because you can see you just have the little mini LED light right there. But these awnings, when you expand them all the way out, they do have an LED light strip in the rod here that will be shining either back towards your fifth wheel or straight down, depending on how you have it positioned. So you will have that additional light on the outside of your fifth wheel as well. Very beautiful looking toy hauler. Um, let's come underneath here. You're gonna have the upgraded Cooper H-rated tires. That's a great tire that it's coming with. So glad to see that. And then you have the Moride CRE 3000 suspension. So an upgraded suspension system as well there that will give you three inches of travel. And you have that on both of your axles. You're going to have a hydraulic slide out for your big slides here. So you can see the hydraulic slide mechanism there. And then this does, it's prepped for the tire pressure monitoring system. So it already has all that prep. So if you did want to get a tire pressure monitor, you already have everything you need there to make that happen. You just have to purchase it. Coming back to this side here, you have a nice LED light strip underneath your awning covering your back patio area. I will say they do have a great locking mechanism for your gate that goes around the patio because some toy haulers are more difficult than others with that, but they do have a good system for that that's really easy to use. One thing that I was surprised to see, these cables, well, two things actually. First of all, these cables are gonna be the only thing that's going to hold this patio in place. It does not have installed from the factory legs underneath here to hold them in place. So kind of unfortunate to see that on this price toy hauler. Um, you can see something like the Fusion over there actually has the legs on it. And then again, you can see with the Fusion has a step there. This one doesn't have a step, which I'm like, why? Why do you not have a step here? That doesn't make sense to me. But nonetheless, when we go inside this thing, it's going to look absolutely incredible and make up for some of those things that we're missing on the outside. Let's move around here. I might have to climb over some things or wiggle my way between here. They got all these trailers parked real close together. So coming around this side, you're gonna see you have your ladder to get to the roof. And we'll go up there and take a look at everything up there in just a second. This here should be your fuel station. So unfortunately I don't have the right keys to unlock this compartment here on me and everybody has gone home. I'm the only one that's still here working to put this content out for y'all. But this is gonna be your fuel station underneath here. And then one thing I really like about the momentum is they have the LED lighting underneath here. So that is a great feature that I really appreciate. It looks really good, lights up this space underneath here and it's really practical for when you're out at your campsite, just seeing everything that's underneath your trailer and having some light going out there as well to be able to see what you're looking at. You are going to have a insulated and enclosed underbelly all throughout this fifth wheel, even in the garage area. So that is something that's really great to know as well, that you have that insulation going all the way back through the garage. And then you have a sewer storage tube here as well. So you can store your sewer tube in that compartment right there. So that is everything underneath here. I can't really get through here because these things are too close together, but you can see you have the hydraulic slide there as well. So let's go around to the other side to look at that side of the fifth wheel. Actually, no, while we're here, let's go up the ladder and take a look at the roof. 
So as we're up here on the roof, you can see you have the Coleman Mach Q-Series ACs. Um, these are going to be a AC system that is 12 decibels quieter than your standard AC system. And then you have three of them, so they'll all be ducted together. That's definitely an awesome feature. And then you have the 300 watt solar panel up here on the roof as well that'll be maintaining the charge on your battery. Plus you have the digital omnidirectional 360 degree antenna from WineGuard. So if you did want to get a Wi-Fi router, you will have that signal to make this a rolling hotspot wherever you go. And as you look around, you can see we're here at the Houston RV Show, a ton of RVs to take a look at here. Definitely gonna be a lot of fun this weekend and really excited. Now this here, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I have absolutely no idea what this is. So if somebody knows, it has the Lippert logo on it. If somebody knows what that is, let me know down below in the comments. I would love to know what that is. So let me know if you know what that is. Um, but fully walkable roof feels very solid up here. Plus you have fully walkable slide out boxes as well. Now let's hop back down and go look around at some other stuff. As we come along this side, of the momentum. You're gonna have the Schwintec slide system in your smaller slide out here for the wardrobe slide going into the bathroom. You're going to have the other 30 pound propane bottle in this compartment. And this here should be your water station. Yep, so you're gonna have your water station plus your auto leveling controls. It is the Lipper auto leveling control there. Plus it has the Nautilus water system here, which is a great system. There should be a light up in here. Let's get that on, there you go. Great system, keeps it really compact and organized in here and has a legend to show you exactly what to do for what your desired setup is for, whatever you're trying to do with your water connections. Plus you have outlets in here and you have a water filter. So it will come with a water filter, which is a great feature as well. Close that shut. That is going to be a slam last door. I just didn't close it hard enough. And yeah, that's just about everything. Um, I know a big thing that Grand Design talks about as well is all the insulation in the roof. So you have insulation all the way through the roof and then you also have insulation up through the front cap and you have a foil layer that goes over the top of that all the way through the front cap. So they have some really good insulation all throughout this momentum, but we'll take a look at some more of that as we go inside as well. Now, I hope I didn't miss anything on the outside here that y'all wanted to see. If I did, let me know down below in the comments and we can address that. Let me just show you the underbelly here because I do like the LED lighting. I think that's so cool. Looks really clean underneath here and you have your spare tire under there as well. Really like that. But let's head inside and take a look at what the inside has to offer. All right. First of all, you're going to have, let's talk about a couple different things. You have your screen door here. So that will detach. And then this is really important actually, you have a strut assisted step. So you have the solid step going in, but it is strut assisted. So this is gonna make your life a whole lot easier, making sure that when you bring this down or put this up, it doesn't slip out of your hands or you know isn't too heavy for you. It's virtually weightless, which makes that really easy setup and take down at your campsite. Now, as we come inside here, I'm not gonna lie, this thing is beautiful. It looks absolutely gorgeous in here. The lighting is so bright and it definitely makes a statement as soon as you walk in. So I'm a fan of that. I'm a fan of the look and feel in here. The, you know, the blue hue to the LED lights, I think gives it that real cool white feeling in here, which I really like. And then look at this floor plan design. This is brilliant. This is absolutely brilliant. I know so many people are wanting more seating space in a toy hauler. And this here is going to give you this L-shaped sofa with two recliners here. And you have two more recliners here. Actually, I wonder where, I wonder where the strap, there it is. Okay, yeah, I wanna make sure. Yeah, you have the recliners there. Let's do a test real quick and see if they lay out flat because that is always important. Sure as heck does. So you can lay that down flat as well. And push that back in. Gonna have a ton of seating, two more recliners there. They have the heat and massage features on them. Plus you have the light feature underneath. So more LED lighting, get these on because these things just don't look all the way right without all the lighting on. So absolutely love that. I, this floor plan is just amazing. It's a floor plan I feel like every toy hauler should try to copy because this is a great design in here and there's just no way around it. There's no one that I think could say this is not a great design. You're going to have solid surface countertops, real nice residential looking appliances. Um, this here is a great looking 
faucet that you have real sharp looking and then you're gonna have a dual basin sink pretty much have that same dual basin sink in every luxury fifth wheel from grand design have the samsung residential refrigerator and then you're gonna have the insignia residential microwave with the insignia four burner cooktop i know this is real important for a lot of people so you get this insignia four burner cooktop ow just shocked me and let's turn that on you can see your oven light underneath here this is a you know pretty much a residential size oven that you could definitely cook a turkey in so a good size oven there as well plus you have this little tray underneath here that slides out and then next to it you'll have storage shelves pull out drawer and on this side same thing pull out drawer and storage shelves up above this area you're going to have shelving here and then two compartments here i'm guessing yeah they'll be unobstructed all throughout there and open this here you're going to have more shelving another really nice thing about the momentum and this is something again that makes it so heavy you have actual stone tile here for your backsplash so that is an actual hard backsplash there that is actual tile that looks really good as well really love that that is another thing though that is making this a very heavy fifth wheel and a good amount of counter stop or <laughs> counter stop counter top space all throughout in your island you'll have this drawer that opens up plus this area here going to your trash can and then you'll have these three drawers that pull out here you have an outlet right here in the kitchen let's find all our other outlets i know there's got to be more than just one let's see an outlet right there underneath the light is there one on this side yep one on that side underneath the light as well i like that they put them up in the cabinets that is definitely a convenient spot for them and then you'll have one on this side of your island as well that the recliner seats are plugged into so let's look at the other two storage compartments real quick. I'm going to have this right here that has these pull-out drawers. That's really cool. I actually hadn't opened this until just now. And that's a pretty cool little feature that they have there. I like that. And storage up here that will open up. In this area as well, I want to point out you do have your fan up there. That is the max air fan. So you have that bigger fan and then you should have a vent underneath here. Yep, you do. So that is venting out air into the outside of your RV. So all that air will get out when you're cooking as well. So two fans in here to get air out. Now let's open this up. Let's take a look at some of the deeper aspects of this grand design momentum. You can see all the talk here about their insulation and construction. They have the 101 inch wide body construction as well. A lot of different things to look at. You're gonna have all your different floor plan designs this is something I really like. All three of your ACs are actually ducted together. So that's something that is going to help with all your airflow in total. And then let's see, it has the fast ramp. So it looks like that ramp is going to lift up pretty quick. So you don't have to, you know, use, push that weight up yourself. And then let's find the exact floor plan for what we're looking at here, which is going to be this 395 MS. So I also wanted to look at the capacities here oh it doesn't tell us exactly it does but it doesn't tell us exactly what we're looking at it looks like you're going to have 155 gallons of fresh water 104 gallons of gray water and 52 gallons of uh, your wastewater that's really good for fresh water capacity 155 gallons is definitely really good and you can see that you could also get the super sofa here in replace of the dinette if you custom ordered it that way but this one does come with the dinette table that we have here at the show so let's take a look around. You're going to see that you have the really tall slide out boxes. That also gives us a bigger feel in here as well. You can see here, they also show that that option for the super sofa, put that up closer. And underneath here, this should be a freestanding table. It sure is. So you don't have any legs underneath here. That's really nice. That also means if you wanted to replace this table with something else, all you have to do is unscrew that from the wall and you can put whatever you want there. Very easy. You're also going to have outlets down here in the corner. So you have two outlets down there and on your windows, nice little pull string here for your nightshade. So it'll be a full blackout shade on all your windows in this fifth wheel. Really nice finishing around the windows as well. That looks really nice up here. You're going to have your loft and you will have a ladder to get up there, but I'll just point this up there. So you can see you do have a full bed up there and you have an AC vent up there to keep you cool plus outlets and you have your big TV here storage all the way around 
And something that is really cool that I looked at, first of all, let's turn on the fireplace. I don't know why I didn't have the fireplace on. I don't know about y'all, but they have these different colors. You can see all the different colors here. I always prefer the purple. That's just me, but that's what I like. You can see, just looks real clean in here with that. That's just my opinion though. And, but what I wanted to look at underneath here, first of all, you have this nice little safety clip to make sure that doesn't pop up when you don't want it to. So I appreciate that. And you have these Rockford um, amplifiers for your speaker system. This is a huge deal. Um, I used to have a Rockford amplifier for my subwoofer in my car and it's a great amplifier system. So that is something that I have not seen in any other toy hauler having these amplifier systems for your different speakers, which is really cool. So you can see, you can change the punch on your EQ here, you can change the volume in your garage from this knob here, and you can change all the individual volumes. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There you go. All your individual volumes from this knob here. Plus this will link to your phone so you can control this from your phone as well with the Bluetooth on there. So great system there. That's pretty cool. Pretty neat to see storage along the sides. And then finally, last thing, you're going to have your storage up through here as well. Those will stay open on their own and that's going to be unobstructed all the way through. So pretty killer floor plan in here. You can see you also have the AC system right there. You have your speakers in the ceiling. So it's going to be like a surround sound style speaker system where you have four speakers in here. This thing is definitely ready to party in, that's for sure. And let's head into the garage. Now in the garage, it's going to be a 14 foot garage. However, there's kind of a butt to that. And that is going to be your half bath right here does take up some of your space for that. Plus, if you wanted to put a washer dryer, it would go right here. So you're not exactly going to have a true 14 foot garage. It'll be 14 feet to this area here, but it's gonna be more like 10 to 12 feet to this area here to this wall. And it would push it forward even more if you did a washer dryer. Now, this is a full feature toy hauler. So you do get the TV in the garage and that will swivel down to a lower position as well. So you can see it from out on the patio. Real big windows in here and the windows back here in the garage are going to have the gray pleated shades on them. You're going to have these vents here that, let's see, oh, got to push the handle, I'm dumb. <laughs> push the handle there, it'll pop the vents open. So while you're traveling down the road, they actually open both directions. So that's pretty nice. You can open it that way to make sure it's catching the wind as you're driving down the road. To let this air out, you'll have another one in the corner down there as well. So air can flow through here and keep this ventilated while you're driving down the road. You have the AC in here, so you will have a third AC, and these are all ducted together. You have your ducting. You can see you have the ladder up there as well. And usually these toy haulers come with a table. You can see you have the legs here for the table, so there should be a table somewhere in this toy hauler. But you have the happy jack system where both of these will come together to make a bed, or you have the two sofas here with the armrest that will come down and the cup holders on both sides. So you'll have this seating arrangement, and you can make that into a bed when you need it and drop this down to a bed as well when you need it. Now, you have a really nice flooring in here. Um, this is going to be a flooring here where you can, you know, wash it off with a hose and it's, you know, not going to be susceptible to water damage and can withstand spills and leaks. But one thing I was surprised to see, because I'm used to looking at a lot of Keystone products where Keystone has tie downs that are welded to the frame, whether it's, I mean, even their most entry level toy haulers have welded to the frame tie downs, um, things like their carbon and impact. And these here are actually just screwed into the floor with a D-ring. So I was kind of surprised to see this. Um, I know it is screwed all the way down into the steel frame with the steel backer. So I would hope that that's strong enough to hold this in place, but I don't know. I'd rather see it welded to the frame tie down there, especially at this price point. So a little surprised to see that, but I guess it is what it is. Um, let's see, let's look throughout the rest of this here. You have your speaker system up in the ceiling. And as we go outside, you're going to have the tinted glass patio door. So tinted glass that will go all the way up if you want it to, to block this out. Now I did a test with this at my lot in Dallas on another toy hauler where I had it running, um, had the AC running on a day when it was about 95 degrees outside and had the patio open for about two hours with the AC running, had those patio do doors closed, had the glass all the way up. And that alone was enough to keep this garage cold. So those will actually work as like a three season door to keep the elements out, even if it is hot outside as well. Real cool patio setup out here. 
definitely the area where the party's at, hanging out outside, and then you have the nice LED light, so you get plenty of light out here as well. So, and as I was saying, that TV can drop down too, so you can have it at an even lower viewing position from out here. And that is going to be everything in this garage space. You can see you have all your controls here for your lights and the bed, making that go up and down, your awnings, things like that. Oh, also want to make sure I point out the storage up there as well. And I don't think we even really stepped into the half bath. You do have a porcelain toilet there and a little sink with an outlet in there as well. And a big window so you can vent that out. Now, going up into the bedroom and bathroom, you have another pretty dang cool setup. You have a floor sweep in here. This is another feature I almost looked right over, but this flips up. And it'll actually suck up any dust or debris into that step there so you can get rid of your dust pan forever. Say goodbye to that and use something that actually works. I love that that's in here and you have your central vac hook up here so you could hook a hose up into that for your central vac. Here you're going to have the Lipper Control Control Center. Um, this here is going to control everything on your RV, plus it'll link to your phone so you can control everything on the RV from your phone as well. Love that there, and that's a good system that they have with that. Uh, coming up into, I guess let's go through the bathroom first. You're going to have another porcelain toilet here. You're going to have your sink right here that is lit very nicely. And then this area is in the slide out, so you have some additional countertop storage space there. You're going to have drawers that pull open. You're going to have this drawer that pulls open. This is kind of like just a little, some little shallow shelving. And then you have the really nice grand design shower that we're used to seeing. So you have the seat here that will flip up, so you can move that out of the way when you don't need it. You're going to have the various different faucets here, I guess, not faucets spray nozzles i don't know why i can't think of the word plus the hose here so lots of different things that you can use as far as you know where you're getting your water supply from but what i really like about this shower is the fact that it sits at the floor level so this dips down about 12 inches here which means two different things one you get a proper height in here of six five up to the ceiling in the shower and with the bubble here you get about six seven to six eight that can fit in this shower. That is awesome. That is something you don't see in hardly anything else. And if you were to plug this drain here, you have about a one foot deep tub that can be used as a tub space as well. So that is another convenient feature is when you have kids and you know different people that may wanna use that as a tub space. I guess I say different people. I imagine only a kid or maybe a dog, something like that might wanna use that as well. But yeah, you have what you can make into a tub space there. So that's pretty unique. You're going to have a vent fan in here as well. And then this is a medicine cabinet. So you'll have three shelves in there. Nice black faucets and appliances and you have an outlet there as well. Oh, and you have storage underneath here. Sliding pocket door, that's very convenient. Doesn't get in the way of your hallway. And then moving into your bedroom, you have this full slide out here. So it gives you all this wardrobe storage and we'll just take a look at the bedroom real quick before we open that up. And this has a king size bed in it. And this is a very unique size bed because you can see it kind of goes into the corner there. It looks like it's a custom mattress because it goes into the corner right there and fits to the curve of that corner. So king size bed, but a really nice looking space in here. Looks very bright. And let's open this up. Let's see if this is unobstructed all the way through. It sure is with your wardrobe storage six drawers that'll open up here and then you have a really big bedside table area storage that opens up here goes all the way to the front cap and let's see is there stuff that's not on here there is stuff that's not on you have an led light strip up there plus the bedside light and another bedside light here it looks like the the panel fell off right there so they'll have to get that fixed but you have a nice looking lighting area in here. It looks very aesthetically pleasing, that's for sure. And then storage all along the top. Now, one thing that's nice to point out is the way this is designed can easily reach this storage right here without having to crawl over the bed. And that'll go all the way through unobstructed as well. Let's look underneath the bed here, see what under the bed storage is looking like. You have strut assisted storage, so that'll lift up on its own. You can see the three legs for the table in your garage there and you have this big framed out storage compartment here. 
You have your slide out controls here for the bedroom if you wanna control that while you're here in the bed. Plus you have a backer location for a TV. Again, at this price point, how do they not have a TV in the bedroom? I'm pretty surprised by that because I know the Keystone Raptor and Fusion that are less expensive than this are going to come equipped with a TV in the bedroom. So surprised to see that. Um, that's pretty much everything in the bedroom space though. You do have the pull down blackout shade. So you'll have that there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's everything in this bedroom space. It's a beautiful looking space in here. That is for sure. Now coming back down into here, so much space in here, so much width with that wide body construction. But the last thing I wanna point out is you have your heat vents underneath your island here. So one thing that's unique about what Grand Design does with their heat vents, not only are they you know, ran through the cabinetry here, but you also have one individual vent that goes into your underbelly storage. So in any other fifth wheel, you pretty much just have radiant heat going into your storage compartment from your ducting. This here is actually going to send one ducting line into the pass-through storage. So you have an actual vent feeding warm air in there and making sure that your tanks stay warm, your water lines stay warm. And in addition to that, you also have 12 volt heat pads on your water tanks as well. But that's pretty much everything. Let me know down below in the comments what you think of this Grand Design Momentum. All right, y'all, that's all I got for you. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Become a part of this growing community of RVers all around the world. If you plan on coming to the Houston show, I would love to meet you. And if you are actively in the market looking for your next RV and are coming to the show, or if you're just sitting at home watching and would like to get more information about something or purchasing information, text me there. We can set up an appointment time to meet at the show or I can get you all the information you need over the phone. So text me there and I'd love to help you out. That's all I got for y'all. Until next time, I'll see you out camping or I'll see you at the show. Peace.